everyone, and welcome back to BAPS Hockey. Today, uh, sticking with the topic of MFR techniques, um, I'm gonna talk about getting at the glute med now. So yesterday I talked about the TFL, today I'm gonna talk about the glute med. So the glute max is gonna be right here, and the glute med is gonna be closer, to, um, a little higher up on the glute. It's um, closer to your lower back. Again, TFL is right around here. Okay, so like you can see like my quad comes up here and then my TFL is up here. My glute bead is going to be closer to the back. Okay, and so what you're going to try doing is again, you're going to sit down on that spot and you're going to bring this knee up and try to create like a triangle. So let me see if I can get it on here. So you want to create like a little triangle and a triangle here. And you just want to sit on that, find that spot and then just sit on here like this. Get this knee up. And again, that's really going to, push that ball right into that spot. It's really important that you work on this glute, this glute meat, because again, it's another area where tension tends to come in. Um, I recommend going again two minutes, two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other. Again, it's really, really important that you work on this, on this area, because again, it's another dysfunctional spot. And if you build up ch tension in that area, or you see a lot of people working with um, a band around the knees, like I, it's, it's okay if you do that once in a while, but if you do that all the time, essentially you're building up the TFL and the glute med and you're getting it to become the primary movers instead of getting the glute to function in, in coordination with the post, um, posterior oblique sling and getting these lines to work as one instead of building up an isolated area, especially something like the TFL and the glute med, which are very small, very small muscles in comparison to like the glutes um, and so you don't you don't want to be building up those areas and what happens is when players are go through the your go through hockey go through practice um, and you have these bad patterns and you have this dysfunctional movement you compensate and you build up these areas more and more and so it's really important that you get it the biggest um, the biggest step when moving away from traditional movement and fixing your dysfunctions and becoming truly functional is relieving these adhesions. So really work on fight, getting that glute med. It's two minutes aside, that's what I recommend. Again, start with a softer ball. You don't want, don't rush it. This is, just, this is a process, it takes time. Again, um, uh, it, you really wanna work on just breaking down that area and retensioning it. You wanna retension your body. And uh, using these techniques from functional patterns is the best way I have found in my experience and what I've tried, I've tried almost every system out there. And this is the best system right now out there when it comes to retensioning the body. So um, hopefully this really helps you. Uh, drop, if you have any questions, drop a comment, drop a like below. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my website and look forward to helping you get to the next level.